it could have been me. This is probably the saddest part of Mary Magdalene's legacy, absolutely the saddest. Uh, because she was personified as a prostitute by Pope Gregory and understood like that by the Catholic Church, um, reformed prostitutes uh, were called Magdalens. And that was probably the, 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 the beginning of the Magdalene houses, which was at that point a good idea because it, it gave these women a purpose, it gave them other job training and so on. But then in the 19th century, uh, with the advent of the Industrial Revolution, um, these places turned into the most awful prisons for unmarried women and sometimes simply young girls who were too beautiful for their families to deal with, too worried that they will become sexual. These women were locked up in these laundries for the rest of their lives. Every day washing and scrubbing away at their sins. Um, the last of these uh, laundries closed in 1994 but subsequently all manner of awful things have been discovered mass graves mass graves of babies in the grounds of, of, of these places so when I say here it could have been me it could have been me I was a sexually active teenager it could have been me so this is my really most heartfelt homage to Mary Magdalene. And then I do a sister piece to this where I take her out of the sorrow and I turn her into the goddess of compassion. I'm using the iconic red hair that I turn into rivulets of blood, but not suffering blood, not blood of sacrifice, but the blood of life, the things that make us feel for another human being. So here she is, the goddess of compassion with her hands pulsating with warmth. <laughs>